Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name is Ryan, and we are playing RimWorld today. If you enjoy this, I hope you'll hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing today. I appreciate it. Anyway, so let's get into it. Now, the colony is going pretty well. We just defeated a major raid. There was a ton of enemies on the map, pretty advanced. They had rocket launchers and stuff, but now those rocket launchers belong to us. There's one of them right there. I think there's a, a few more, too, on the map. Yep, there's a second one right there so we are going to claim those rocket launchers for ourselves you better believe it in fact i think i'm going to put uh launchers here to now normally i'll keep this uh little shelf specifically oh if i could spell it right uh, i'll keep this thing for like uh, psychic animal pulsers things like that but uh, also some rocket launchers are going to be very nice i think we've got both of those on the map so i'll just set those up also, uh, if we come across any of these missile launchers, we'll put those there too. How about that? Normally, I would also put like an EMP launcher or something here, but we don't have any mechs on this playthrough. This is a no mechanoid playthrough this time around, but you can see we are recovering here. Uh, let's take a quick look at everybody's health. Okay, there's still somebody, this person needs to be treated. Boy, oh boy, router needs a whole heck of a lot of bionics. I might have to make that a research priority coming up. Um, Rico, his brain, unfortunately, this gentleman's been in the hospital for a long time. He has brain damage. That reminds me too, actually, we did research dermal generator. I just haven't built it yet, but I can, so I need to. I'm gonna go ahead and get this sucker slapped down. I also put it over here in the corner for now. That's fine. We can move it around and stuff. But uh, this is going to help us get some scars healed. It won't replace limbs or anything like that, but it will heal a lot of scars, including brain scars, most importantly. Because not only does Rico have brain damage, but also V has brain damage. And as far as I know, Jambo... Where you at, Jambo? You didn't die, did you? No, okay. Jambo's still alive. Also has brain damage. There might be others, too, out there. I haven't really thoroughly checked everybody's brain yet for scars, but once we get this baby up and running, we're going to go through. It's kind of a long cycle. It's a great mod because it kind of balances it out. They get this like uh, regeneration sickness that they have to recover from, but you'll see as we get it up and running. You'll see that all. Now, let's focus in on our prisoners real quick. Well, actually, hold on. Pause that. I want to make sure these people get treated real fast. Okay, so I forced a couple of our Jedi to get up and come in here and heal them. Uh, so they're doing okay now. Let's see. Wolfie is actually laying in a Glitter World hospital bed, if in case you guys are interested. Now, I traded for this. Actually, we didn't build it. I don't know. I'm sure we probably can get a research treat uh, for this, but... Um, I just traded for it, so it's it's the only one we have, sadly. But we'll maybe we'll get some more one day. My I love one of the things I love about RimWorld is setting up a really high tech, advanced hospital where you can you know upgrade all your bionics and stuff in it. It's uh, it's one of my favorite things. Speaking of bionic, we do have one prosthetic hand here, and I believe that was for Jambo. Yes, yes, Jambo is our trouble pawn. So. She enjoys body modding, so we need to give her something here just so she'll kind of cool down and not be so pissed all the time. But she also has a brain scar, so you know that doesn't help her situation. But I'm going to give her the operation. I think I'm going to wait till she heals up. Yeah, I don't like doing like installations of bionics and stuff while they're injured. I think that's not good. So let's go for a left hand install prosthetic left and again uh, eventually i'll upgrade this to real uh, to a much better bionic we'll give her like a power arm or something to make it up to her after we uh you know research it well just take a look at our wealth jump after that last raid man it really popped up all the stuff that those raiders dropped on the map Wow, uh, but uh, I also wanted to point out just the serious distance, the, like this, uh, the length of time. There was a huge gap between our previous encounter, we had an infestation, and then the most recent raid. Really, really a long uh, gap of time. So I'm nervous that Randy's going to hit us with like another back-to-back -back event. So we got to keep on our guard and stuff. But unfortunately, I am, you know, sending them out to the edge of the map right now, trying to get all this stuff collected. Hey, look, another dragon wandered in. Wow. But yeah, we've got meat out here we want to get. There's weapons and stuff I'm trying to pick up. And I'm talking, it's all the way down here at the edge too. So kind of sucks, but um, trying to stay as vigilant as possible. Not allow anything to happen to our people, of course. But uh, 
Look at this. We got horses out here. I'm just so greedy. I can't see these resources without trying to pick them up, you know. I'm going to disallow these bodies, though. I don't want them going to move the human bodies around. If they're real far out here, they can just stay. They'll just get eaten or biodegrade or whatever. Ah, oh, look at Froggy picking it all up. Gotta love it. All right, see, it doesn't take too long. Now, we do have some more animals over here. Let's grab those. Oh, yeah. This is what's good about having a nice large colony. Even if some of your people have brain damage, they can still haul and clean and stuff. Okay, speaking of brain damage, let's take a look at the prisoners, the people who decided to attack our wonderful colony. Let's look at this here. So we've got um, Trigger Happy Bisexual. Okay, 42. Cooking's good. They're a decent fighter. Uh, no, see, people who can't do like basic intellectual, I usually reject out of hand. Uh, let's keep going, although this pawn's not bad. Um, pretty healthy, too. Let's see, they're not, oh, they are unwaveringly loyal, so we'll just release them. But uh, no worries, no worries. Yeah, in case you're unfamiliar, our, our uh, tenant, the tenets of uh, our ideology mean that we don't sell people into slavery. We don't, like, butcher up, you know, prisoners or anything for bionics or for their parts. We just release them. Even if we don't get any faction influence from them, they, we let them go. But uh, just like fish, just like little minnows. All right, let's see here. What do we got? Staggeringly ugly, teetotaler, lazy. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Teetotaler's not terrible in this colony. I don't mind that because we're kind of going drug-free, except for coffee and tea. But um, let's check on Mother next. Hello, Mother. How are you today? Psychically sensitive, depressive. Yikes, that's another. <laughs> what a heck of a combo that person would be in real life. Uh, decent medical. Oh, and they're a construction pawn. That's something I love. I love me a good construction pawn. Let's see here. Depressive. Negative 12. Yikes. That's rough. That's rough. Um, gourmand. We're desperately looking for more people, though. I feel like despite the fact that I've got, I don't know, 20 colonists or so, I still feel like we're understaffed. <laughs> we need more. Uh, this is a 16-year-old. Not too bad in terms of their health. Let's see. Cook and... Eh. I don't have any other good passions, though. All right, let's look at Alyssa here. Ugly, that's it. Well, sometimes ugly people can be the hardest workers. And you know what? Alyssa's looking pretty good for being an ugly pawn. Wait a second. Hold on. She's 31. She's got no bad traits. Uh, well, I'm sorry, no, like, afflictions or anything, I should say. All right, I'm thinking, guess what? We just got our first candidate, uh, candidate here. We don't, we don't discriminate against those who are ugly. Let's see here. So construction, mining. Yes, I like this pawn a lot. Hello, welcome to the colony. Just don't get yourself killed before we recruit you. Now, Miss Andrist, female 28, does not like men. She's an artist, social, eh. No, her inabilities here, kind of uh, not the best. Anyway, okay, so we've gone through all six of our prisoners and we've decided on one. Hey, one out of six is not bad, especially uh, especially considering she is a decent pawn. Omelia, o or Omela is what she, her name is, Omela. I'm probably, I don't know what I'm going to change her name to, but uh, we're certainly not going to call her Myrtle the turtle, that's for sure. Oh boy, guys. Well, I'm sure some of you probably noticed it and were uh, snickering or yelling at the screen because of my stupidity. But uh, unfortunately, Omela, the one I wanted to convert and then recruit, is unwaveringly loyal. So we cannot. Uh, that's something the mod here doesn't uh, yet. I guess it hasn't recognized the fact that they're unwaveringly loyal. Because this particular mod, which allows you to do both within one click... Yeah, it, it shows up for all colonists. So that's my excuse. It kind of throws me off. But uh, we unfortunately have to release her. So uh, this was the colonist, the ugly one that had some really good skills. But uh, that means we got zero out of six prisoners here converted or recruited. Uh, we're just going to let them go. And there's nothing, uh, no bonus out of it. It's just that's what we have to do. Uh, but there's another one. All right, mother, it's time for you to go too. I want to get them released as soon as possible so we don't have any prison breaks, no violent outbursts or anything. Very good, very good. Well, looks like we're going for fabrication next on our research. That's a big one. It'll open up a lot of stuff, including the ability to make our own components. And uh, not only that, but it opens up the next stage of turrets that we can start to place. 
which is very important. Uh, sadly, most of our constructions on hold, including this dermal regenerator, all because of these gardens down here. Everybody's down here working on these right now, which is great, but uh, I think I am gonna get Defiant up here to actually force this. I wanna start slowly getting everybody's scars healed up. It's a long process, so it's, uh, it's a cool mod, but like I said, it does take time. Now, here's that trader. We just got an awesome weapons trader, but I don't know what they've got they've got a thousand silver that's going to be very helpful to us so i'm going to try and get as much stuff as i can real quick and check it out we've got a bunch of crappy weapons to trade away so let's see what we can do all right well we've got maximum silver here um i guess i could probably take a couple of things off because or one thing off because i've got a little bit more here uh, let's just keep one of our chain shotguns behind. There we go. Close enough. There we go. So we've traded most of the weapons away. Now that's good and bad because I did actually have a bunch of those start to get loaded here. Yeah. So, oh, there it is. They had, There we go. So the transport pod is going to be a little bit short. Kind of a waste, but that's okay. I'm still going to launch it off. I think, let's see. I think I'm going to go for the Empire because... Recently, we've been asking a lot from them, so Empire of God. Yeah, we're only at plus three here, so let's use this one. It's a little bit closer. won't use as much of our chem fuel because I am currently working on rebuilding some of these. We've got 36, which sounds like a lot, but it's really not. What is that, like 12 shots per each one of these, or for the total like uh, cannon barrage? something like that my math isn't great but <laughs> uh so there we go we're going to be working on those we need chem fuel you know what i actually desperately need are some boom loops man i don't know if they come up this far north though because i haven't seen many on the map although there are two crate dragons on the map oh look <gasps> i just noticed there's another wolf it's a female though you got to be kidding me so we've been literally looking for a male wolf forever we have two females I don't even know, like, I guess we'll try and tame it. It's just there's a chance it's going to fail on us, of course. And, man, that stinks. I'd love to get a, a male in this group here. But uh, if all we have to do is settle for just, like, constantly taming all the wolves that walk into the map, I guess that's what we'll have to do. But we did lose a colonist to a bear I tried to tame. Um, yeah, that stinks. Uh, Angus, he's over here in our graveyard, sadly. It was a total waste, just a complete utter failure on my part but uh hey it does happen from time to time so over here i'm actually thinking about expanding our um guest bedroom i'm going to build another one of these put it down here so we can have even larger groups uh we still aren't going to charge or anything like that you know but uh let's see I, i'm going to set up a martial arts studio here and then a shooting range over here so i'm going to move these out of here we'll put the uh, martial arts targets into one room um, I'm going to get a bunch of them going because at some point, yeah, we're going to need like a, a plethora of different training stuff because our people, once we research a whole bunch, that's all they're going to do is end up just training most of their time. So I'm going to set that up right away. We'll have a nice little shooting range. And like I said, a martial arts area for melee practice. Okay, well, check it out, guys. The dermal regenerator is finished, thanks to Defiant getting it done. So first things first, let's let's test and see if we can move Rico in there manually. Uh, is there anybody close by? Allie. Yes, drop off your stuff. Let's see, carry Rico, please. We're going to do this slow. Let's get this done here. Okay, I want you to move him here. I don't know if this is going to work. Probably not. With my luck. Um, I wonder if I, I want this thinking if I can load him in. Rescue Rico. No, that doesn't work. All right, let's uh, carry Rico again. Let's move over here. Drop him. See, okay, now he's in the center, but it's not activated or anything. What does this say? Automatic heal? I don't know what that does. Wait, did that work? You should see, like, his brain scar going up or down. No, that's not working. Darn it. So, no, I don't think it's going to work for him. So, maybe plan B, where I thought about, like, um, having somebody... 
uh, like administer some stew to him, maybe try and get his consciousness up just enough so that he can walk for a little while and get up into this ther dermal regenerator because then it'll start to heal his brain. <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll see. I mean, first I'm going to go ahead and get V because I know she can walk. So we'll get this. Sh I'll show you how this thing works for anybody who's unfamiliar with the mod. So here's V. Oh, look. Never mind. Kenta just went in. I think that's what auto heal does. Is it? Yeah. People will just come and heal themselves. So that's fine. Maybe I'll leave that on. But there are a couple of people I want to do priority on here. Let's see. But we'll use uh, we'll use this person as an example. So you can see right away, as soon as they step into it, they get the dermal regeneration sickness. And it's going to be like the length of time that they recover from this is commensurate with how long they have to wait to get their scars healed up. Now, this person has two big scars here. You can see. So I'm going to un oh, get out of here, V. We don't need you. Um, so if we look at it, you can see it's kind of the tick on the scab scar is going down. It went from like 1.5. Now it's going to disappear when it reaches zero. Boom. Scar is gone. Now he obviously, yeah, he's not doing the second one. I think he's he's good. He's going to go. Yeah, he's got 0. 0.6 days to recover there. So let's get V up here now. She's the next one because she's got a brain scar. And we really want to get that done. This is a big scar, 6.0. Like most of her brain is just scar tissue. She's walking around with a pretty gnarly brain. But uh, this is going to fix it here. All right, see, it's counting down from 6 now. So she's got to go all the way through this. Okay, well, she is almost done. I probably should have waited until she was like more better fed and stuff, but she is back to normal. Now she's got one point, one and a half days to recover from that. So her consciousness is going to be diminished. But once that's done, oh my God, that's incredible. Good old V, V Keith. Now let's see here. She can be moved up into the normal lineup then. Let's, uh, I want to take a look at her. She's a good shot. Let's give her an SMG real quick. Definitely not giving her an assault rifle. I think I still have some SMGs somewhere. Yeah, there we go. All right, equip that real fast before you go to bed and recover. And now I can actually assign her some work stuff because I had previously just, you know, been like, whatever. She's just a hauler. But, um, okay, she can hunt. Oh, that's right. We can make her a repair person for sure. Definitely. And, oh, she's a decent crafter. At least, she, well, she's got a good passion for it. But, um other than that, I think I'll just have her do some rock cutting, probably. Let's see. Stone cut. Yeah, there we go. Stone cut and smelt whenever we need it. Well, welcome to the colony, V, in your full form. Okay. Well, Jambo and her prosthetic hand have just been uh, also healed of their brain scar. So that's awesome. She already had a weapon, though, so she's good. But uh, she's set. Now she's got 1.4 days or whatever to recover. Ah, here comes Myrtle lined up. Oh, yeah. She's got a lot of stuff. Uh, this first one, though, they just go in a line, obviously, starting from the top, I believe. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Because that's not that one's not counting down. Okay, it is the leg. I wonder if it's just random. Um, but um, so far, it seems like it was at the top of the list, except for that one. Maybe when they decide on their own, it's whatever. I don't know. But uh, we do have a lot of scars, man. If we just kind of sort through our people, there's one. Oh, yeah, there's one. So this this machine is incredible. I love it. Uh, anyway, I won't worry about it anymore. I won't draw your attention to it anymore. It's a, it's a very handy mod, mod, and I do love it. But there it is. So we're good to go. Now I just have to figure out how to get Rico. That I will try and show you. If I'm successful with Rico, that I will show you. Okay, well, it is against his moral and ethical code. But we're going to give him some go juice. I'm going to give him some... Oh, there he is. Oh, he can't... He, it worked. It worked. So we, somebody gave him some stew, which raises consciousness by 10%. I did the pinoxicillin, just hoping maybe that would help him a little bit. But um, then the go juice raised it by 20%. Now he is up and running. He, he still obviously has a brain scar, a very significant one. Here, short bow, got him. Brought him down to 2 of 10. So he needs this. Kate, you got to wait. I'm sorry. Poor naked Rico. He hasn't walked in, in like years. Let's see. Is it working on the brain? Please tell me it's working on the brain. No. It's doing the stupid... Oh, no. It's doing the eyeball scar. So it is kind of random. Shoot. I was hoping it would do the butt. Well, at least we know that we can get him up with... Uh, I'll just take the coffee off there. Because... 
oh, he's puking and stuff. I don't know if I can put him in here back to back. We might have to wait until this one goes away. So we'll, we'll do this in stages, obviously. But man, that's awesome. At least we know we can get Rico back to normal. Oh, wow. Check this out. Well, we didn't even finish the left eye. He got down about halfway on it. And this right here, the regeneration sickness, reduced his consciousness back down. So now he's in a comatose state again. So we can't even finish that one right away. Wow. So talk about going in stages. Poor Re Gosh dang it. Can't you, can't you rescue Rico first? So anyway, it's going to have to take a while. But like I said, we know we can achieve it. So uh, welcome back, Rico. You're going to be back with us soon enough, buddy. Well, well, well. The youngest member of the colony, little butler has just had a growth moment. All right, so definitely gonna remain a colonist. I don't know what gender, male. Okay, butlerism, he. This is the child of Allie and Defiant, two of our colony lead. So Allie has been breastfeeding this little baby very diligently, but now Butler can probably eat on his own and stuff. Let's see. So he had the growth moment. The first growth moment is just like, they can just get up and move around. So there is nothing to like assign. Uh, no points or anything, but that's awesome. I think I can at least get him to clean a little bit. You will not do any child care, sir. But yeah, I can set him over here to do some cleaning and hauling, which is beautiful. Also really important, at least for in my colony here with the children, I have them kept in the safe zone. So I'm going to move Butler over here with his friends, his young friends to the safe zone only. So that just means they're basically inside the walls. They can't go anywhere outside the walls. You can see the safe zone. They can even run around down here, but uh, play around in the caves if they want. <laughs> Probably not the safest thing if we get an infestation, but that's okay. Um, let's see. You know what I think I'm going to do? We need some mining going on. Let's see. I'm going to order this dug out, get this little hallway dug. There we go. That'll be good. Uh, that'll probably make it a little this room a little bit more difficult to heat, but I might actually segregate this room into its own little structure here. We'll see. I got to dig it out a little bit, make it a little prettier. Oh man, check it out. The uh, dermal regenerator broke down. I guess our people have been using it so darn much. Uh, all right, somebody's working on it though. And of course, the Arctic wolf has gone berserk. <gasps> Addy, do not get freaking killed. All right, hold on. We're coming for you, Pilar and Allie are gonna come help you, Addie. Oh no, Addie, stay alive. She's uh, she's our Hussar, so she's actually really decent combat. She'll probably end up killing it, but uh, let's just get let's get them out here. Oh yeah, okay, never mind. She did they she did fine. She murdered it, but hey, that's okay. How you doing? She'll be okay. She's another one that needs some bionics for sure. She's already got a few, but obviously she needs more. Oh boy, well, we just got an infestated, uh, infestation of ship chunks, so this is a different kind of event here. Oh my god, there are a ton of them out there. Oh wow, that is a heck of a lot. So this is going to spawn one round of insects initially. We'll see these things pop out here at any moment. Oh yeah, wow. Oh my god, that's incredible. Now... They're pretty far from the walls here, so I don't think they're going to trigger on our turrets right away, but we need, oh wow, we need to really be careful with this. We could definitely end up getting some people killed if we watch this, if we don't watch out. So um, I think initially, right away, I'm just going to set everybody to the safe zone. Nobody goes out there. Turn those switches on. So the thing about these ship chunks is they will keep spawning more and more bugs if we don't go out there and kill them. The good thing about it is um, it, it, uh, they drop components just like any other ship chunk does. But we've got to get to we've got to kill the bugs first. So what I want to do is probably we'll wait till the morning because if we look individually, we have like 1.7 days. You know what? Forget that. We're not going to wait. We're going to do this immediately. So, uh, yeah, let's get everybody but Myrtle because she's really super old. Let's get them all brought up. Okay, V needs a place. Let's move her up here. Good. I'll set her place. So we're going to get everybody in position, and then we are going to go out there and try and lure them down into our defenses. All right, you guys, I've got everybody lined up here on the front lines. Allie is going to be our gopher. I'm going to use her to uh, 
pop her force speed and then I'm going to come out here and tempt all these insects to come down. Look at that swarm of them. Oh man, we got, we're going to have a shooting spree. So obviously we're going to try and stay behind our walls as much as possible. And just, if we could get the whole group down here triggered, that'd be wonderful. Cause I think we can clear those out in a short amount of time, but uh, we'll see. It might get a little bit dicey here. I don't know. Unfortunately, it's going to have to wait for the next episode, guys. That does it for us this time. I really appreciate y'all coming by, spending time here at the colony. Uh, if you enjoy this content, as I said, consider hitting like and subscribe. It really helps me out and I appreciate it. Also check the description down below for the different links I've got down there. All right, guys, I will see you on the next episode.